In this video, we'll introduce the six trigonometric ratios. The trig ratios are characteristics of an acute angle theta, but to describe them, we need to imagine a right triangle that has theta as one of its angles. We'll start by putting theta in standard position. I'm going to use colors as memory aids throughout the rest of the series, so please imagine that the initial side of angle theta along the x-axis is blue. Next, we pick a point on the terminal side, it doesn't matter where, and draw a vertical line straight down to the x-axis. This line is red. The blue and red lines are perpendicular, of course, and they form a right triangle having the terminal side of theta as its hypotenuse, which will color yellow. These three colored sides have names from the perspective of angle theta. The red side that's directly opposite the triangle from theta is called the opposite side, usually abbreviated OPP. The yellow side we already know is called the hypotenuse, usually abbreviated HYP. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right triangle across from the right angle as we covered in TR-07, and the blue side adjacent to theta is called the adjacent side, ADJ, because it's adjacent to theta. The trig ratios are simply the ratios between the lengths of these three sides. There are only six possibilities, and here they are. Opposite, divided by the other two, adjacent, divided by the other two, and hypotenuse, divided by the other two. Here are the names of these six ratios. You've probably heard of some of them before. Sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, cosecant. I try to emphasize how little memorization is needed for trigonometry, if you understand the basic concepts. But for reasons that will become apparent, you should memorize these six names in this order. They all have three-letter abbreviations which correspond to the first three letters of their name, except cosecant's abbreviation can't be COS since that's already been taken by cosine, so cosecant is abbreviated CSC. Here are the ratios that correspond to each name. You need to know these, but I'll show you an easy way without too much memorization. There's a wonderful, nonsensical, mnemonic word that can help us. Sokotoa. Sokotoa has three parts, each with three letters. S-O-H, C-A-H, T-O-A. Each three-letter part denotes a trig ratio name, its numerator, and denominator. For instance, so. S-O-H, sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Ka, C-A-H, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Toa, T-O-A, tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Let's look at a triangle with angle theta as shown. I'll color code the Sokotoa abbreviations to match the triangle, and we'll say this is a 3-4-5 triangle, so we'll label the sides with their lengths. What's the sine of theta? Sine is the first syllable in Sokotoa, S-O-H. Sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite is 3 feet, and the hypotenuse is 5 feet. So 3 feet over 5 feet equals 0 0.6. Not 0 0.6 feet. The trig ratios are unitless, since the units of measure in the numerator and denominator cancel out. How about the cosine? Cosine is C, so katoa, C-A-H. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent is 4 feet, and the hypotenuse is 5 feet. So 4 feet over 5 feet equals 0 0.8. And the tangent, tangent is T, so katoa, T-O-A. Tangent equals opposite over adjacent. The opposite is 3 feet, and the adjacent is 4 feet. So 3 feet over 4 feet equals 0 0.75. Sokotoa covers sine, cosine, and tangent, which are the most commonly used trig functions. The last three trig ratios are reciprocals of the first three. When the ratio names are listed in this order, the reciprocal pairs can be formed by building three bridges, like this. Starting at the bottom, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Sokotoa reminds us that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so hypotenuse over adjacent. 
and cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so adjacent over opposite. All you need is Sokotoa, remember the trig names in this order, and know the bridge trick, and you'll know all the ratios and their numerator and denominator with hardly any memorization. Try this one on your own. What's the sine of theta? Use Sokotoa and pause. Opposite over hypotenuse, 3 feet over 5 feet, 0 0.6. Remember, opposite and adjacent depend on which angle you're referencing. For angle alpha, the adjacent side is 3 feet, and the opposite side is 4 feet. So the sine of alpha is 4 feet over 5 feet, 0 0.8. I want to go back to an earlier slide where we picked a point on the terminal side of angle theta to create our triangle. I said it doesn't matter which point we pick, and the reason is that all of the right triangles we can possibly draw, having theta as an acute angle, will be similar to each other. All the angles will be the same, and all the sides will be in the same proportion. And the trig ratios are simply these proportions, the same ratios no matter the size of the triangle we imagine. The trig ratios describe angles, not triangles. The practice and exercise videos that accompany this lecture is TR-13X. This is a very important lesson in the series, so please practice and gain confidence. There's an optional Z video, TR-13Z, where I'll show how the three co-functions got their names, cosine, cotangent, cosecant. In the next video, TR-14, we'll introduce the unit circle, where we'll expand on the trig ratio concept to include all angles not just acute angles.